Hey guys, my name is Nexus, and this is Silent Nightmares, made April 25th, 2001, by Jeremy Catlin, also known as Hipbreaker. So in this mission, we're seeking out our friend who has gone missing in the haunted power facility. Because of the nature of missions like these with spooky, scary jump scares, I'm not going to go too much into detail about it, so on with the mission. Okay guys, here's easy, medium, and expert. Our friend John has been mysteriously disappeared from this abandoned power facility. Seems weird for an abandoned facility to still be running, but hey, what do I know? I don't run power companies. So, it's haunted as well. There's zombies everywhere. Who knows what kind of accident befell this location. Um, so regardless of everything, though, we're not going to be going that way just yet. Um, there are a couple different routes we could take, actually. Although, they're not really that different, so I don't really know how to explain certain things. Um, oh, hey, the fog went away. Alright, let's check out this ghost girl, let's check out this- Oh, look, no! Statue, no! Oh, spooky. Yes. Anyway, I'm just messing around. But, uh, in all seriousness, there are a lot of zombies here. There's a lot of haunts and, uh, music. Interesting music that I've never heard anywhere else. Actually, no, I think I've heard it since, but I believe this is the first mission this was in. I got these coffin shaped windows for God knows what reason. Uh, we got this, which, if I recall correctly, cannot be opened right now. Yep. Uh, I like how the rain works. I like that it doesn't actually fall under the overhang. Not really sure how that works, but it's pretty cool. Glad someone managed well, to do that. This is a snug fit. Hmm. Scarecrow. Excuse me. Got that ghost girl walking outside. We got some random textures occasionally, but that's okay. Statue. This place. Yeah, and unfortunately most of the doors are going to be closing behind us, so that's gonna be fun. I hate when that happens. I really do. That is probably the thing I like least about missions that have doors that close behind you, is the fact that they have doors that close behind you. Uh, we'll come back here. Yeah, it's upstairs. Alrighty. I am going to get very lost. Hmm. You know, for an abandoned power facility, it sure seems to be running. Not gonna say too much more than that. I think that, I think that does enough justification there. Alright. Hello. I see you. I see that. I hear a lot of people. Excuse me. I'm just gonna swoop in behind you real quick. Hope you don't notice. Okay, that strobe light is going to hurt my eyes. Already hurts my face. Mm, yeah. Please don't look at the flashing lights if you're uh, epileptic. I know that epilepsy isn't actually like triggered a whole bunch by flashing lights like that, like most people assume. But some forms of epilepsy actually are, so it just kind of depends. Usually it requires a little bit more than just flashing lights. It's kind of complicated how epilepsy works. It's a, it's a brain trigger. It causes many seizures. It's not fun. But, uh, you know. Oh, yep, it's gonna keep. Okay, yeah, that door closed. I know I've been there, though. The door just closed behind me again. <laughs> doors. Alright. Let's keep going. Well, this is ominous. Sure are a lot of dead folks here. Oh yeah, I didn't actually mean to pick him up, but I guess I did. Alright, got all that happening. This is the door of the zombie. Yep. Okay, got it. Under control. This place is a maze, by the way, so we're gonna have lots of fun me trying to figure out where the heck I'm going and where the heck I've been because all the doors are closing and that's what I mainly used you know watch my step around here 
Yeah, by the way, that is the weirdest location I've ever heard for that one. I've never been able to figure out why there, of all places. Regardless, though. Oh, we're just back here? Got it. Uh, can I go? No, this, this is locked. So I need to actually just go upstairs now. Got it. Alright. This place is very mazy. Also, floors. Man, those floors are some thick-ass floors. I don't usually say things like that, but... Man! Floors in here. What's up with that? This is not the right way. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Alright, that helps. Alright. Good. Good. I do gotta say, though, there's something weird about the architecture of this place. J just actually kind of annoys me a little bit. I don't know what this actually is. Or why it has a hole in it. I don't, I don't understand. But anyway, I don't understand why everything is diagonal. Things are just slightly off-centered. It's very odd. I don't like it. Are you actually real, or are you fake? Well, you know what? There's one easy way to find out. No, he's not real. Alright, well, I know what I'm doing then. Getting rid of this haunt. Not gonna put up with that. I like how he reacted as though I hit him. Or as though he had some way to react to it. Is up with this slightly raised floor. I don't understand. I don't understand. There's so many weird things. Alright. Now that I've had my mental breakdown. Um, everything is diagonal and it just kind of irks me, actually. Very disorienting. I think that might be the point, though, is to make it non-square in a way that is disorienting rather than... Hello! <laughs> Whoa-ho! Alright, then. There's a zombie right there, I know. Trust me. Trust me, I know. Yeah, okay, that's gonna alert everybody, so I'm not gonna do that. But it did freak me out. Everything's fine if I do that. I can grab the haunt later. More zombies. Alright. You couldn't tell this is a super spooky mission, in which there are a lot of undead, and a lot of twisty corridors that don't make any sense. Please don't be coming through this door right at the same time as I am. Perfect. I still hear that one up there, the apparition. You <laughs> can't hear this. Well, now I'll definitely know if you can hear it. Okay, I don't think anybody heard that. That's good. Don't need that, apparently. Sometimes I just like picking up rat corpses, just in case they're useful. Don't quote me on that. Sometimes, though, they actually are useful. Useful... You know, you never think you'd actually say something like that. A useful rat corpse. You know, I'm gonna point this out because I think it's kind of funny. Why are there so many rats in a, little, in a power station? Seems rather odd, doesn't it? It's not really anything that I would consider like, you know, food in a, in a power station, really. Not a whole bunch of it, anyway. Not enough to really draw rats in. <laughs> I'm just gonna take care of that. Hopefully we can actually get into all of these windows, and even if we couldn't, um, 
I know we can get in from the outside because they're all made of wood. Which is probably on purpose, now that I think about it. Okay, let's just go past you. Hello. Good night. I'm really sick of these doors. Alright. Be angry at the doors all I want, I suppose. Been everywhere? Yes, cause, no, I don't, no, no, this way. Haven't been this way. Right? Yeah. Right? No, I have been. It's weird that it doesn't connect up. <coughs> That's actually, you know, I think there's supposed to be something that was supposed to happen there. Or he's supposed to be hostile. But uh, it didn't work that way, so I guess I'm just going to go around. These doors would stop closing. Okay. I don't know where I am. Zombie. Nobody cares about you. This fog is kinda also breaking. Oh hey, there's the apparition and haunt and all kinds of nastiness that I really don't want to deal with. I'd like to take out this zombie sooner rather than later. These are still closed. Man, that strobe light. Somebody ought to do something about that. Zombie's gonna go through there. He's gonna double back. Is he actually going to... Okay, no, he's not gonna double back forever. Just a little. You're gonna go through the door? Yeah, you're going through the door. I think everybody's going through the door. Let's just save real quick. And go. Perfect. Nobody noticed. Just gonna toss you down there. I wonder if actually that would wake up the zombie. Probably not though. Zombies are notoriously sleepy. Hi. Didn't see you there. Just gonna come up behind you because you're too slow to notice that I'm actually coming up behind you. Just check out every single door in this place. Is there anything over here? This is made of brick, not wood. That's confusing. Hmm. Not that we're all made of wood. Door is closing in my face. <laughs> Mighty sick of you. I'm also getting weirded out by the doors that disappear, but I know I know that glitch. That's that's nothing new. Hey! Found a thing. In a random location at that. <laughs> Okay, where did I come from? Came from there. Let's go this way. This is just one of these places. There's nothing up here, is there? Nope. I hadn't thought so, but it's in my blood to check. And please, doors, get it together. Uh, where's the zombie and apparition at this point, I wonder? Uh, they went this way. I'm gonna go try and take them out beforehand. Gonna make things a lot simpler. Nothing, nothing. I see that purse. I'll come back for you, my precious. Okay, let's take care of you. Because you are super easy to deal with. Okay, good. Did it when the other guy couldn't pay attention. Awesome. Success. Alright. Can't really say too much about this mission, honestly, because there's really, really a lot of me just wandering around trying to find the next thing that's supposed to happen, which, by the way, is really not a good thing. That's uh, not a good description to have. Oh, another zombie. Oh no. What's this one gonna do? What? It's empty. Why would you give me an empty spot behind a banner? No sound brush here? Okay. Got it. Under control. There's nothing on this ledge either. What is up with this razor thin piece of brick here? It seems like it's an issue with the texturing just a tiny bit. Sure, let's go upstairs. 
take care of the haunt at some point. Also, you know, you notice how most of the zombies are already knocked over? That's a good way to spice up the atmosphere of your mission, but it doesn't really make for much of a challenge. Oh, just caught the edge. Key. Now, whatever could this key go to? I wonder. I don't actually know if I know which key it is. Nothing there either. Sooner or later, that like shoved through that door. It's very strange. Okay, you're all the way over there, and you actually had gotten stuck because I was just far enough away. Usually not a good thing. Just gonna take this key. Try it on some doors. Hey, worked on that door. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to take this guy out, though. He's being a pain. Okay, good, good, etc., etc., etc. Let's go figure out what's behind this locked door. Open the vault. Have both open at once. Got it. Objective complete. Hello. Oh, rain. I see. I was wondering what that was. Let's see. Don't have enough loot. Haven't escaped. And haven't found out what happened to my friend. My friend John. Actually, uh, I know where that is. So I'm good on that count. I know where to find it. Um, I actually, that's kind of near the escape too, isn't it? Vaguely recall. Nothing there me over here, been there, got it under control, can't just go down the elevator. I know there's a way to open that, but I guess I just don't know how. I've been everywhere. It's really hard to tell when the doors close, though. Okay, see me not care about that. That seems... It really is kind of a weird thing that you can lock yourself in there, but you can just as easily unlock yourself, so it's kind of weird. And I don't really get it. I just wanted to see if I could do that. Um, so yeah, we get to see some of the level geometry from up here. Very nice. Uh, lots of interesting shapes from the, uh, what is that brush called? The ellipsoid one, I think? No, dodecahedron. That's it. Ladder's a bit short. That's alright. It's a pressure plate? Or no. Oh, that's just weird. Different key. Alright, what have we got? We have the entrance over there. We've got I don't know what that structure is there. Where does this key go to? Also, do I have a slow fall? Because that would be nice. I do not. Which tells me I probably should have done something else first. Because I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a slow fall potion from somewhere. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. Love way back when they used to have ladders that uh, did that fun stuff. Hello. Okay. Thought I was going to hurt myself. Okay. Is there an easy, fast way down? It's not going to get me murdered horribly. Doesn't look that way. I'm gonna go with a solid no. Is that a dead person? You know, that actually strongly implies that I should be able to get down there safely. Do you have anything on you? No. Which, probably just Easter egg then. Can't reach that. No easy way down from here? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Oh, wait, no, there's this weird structure. Sure, let's take a look at it. It's a tree, I think. It's made out of tree-like material. Nope, that was a bad decision. That was... That, nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened at all. I didn't go investigate a tree and then fall down and 
hurt myself. I thought the save point was after him. Yep, it was. Alright then, let's go and try and figure out fast Hey, you're standing up now. I don't like that. Still can't get down this way because whatever it is I needed to do to open this up didn't happen. Let's just toss that all the way down there for funsies. And boop. That was not solid. Very unexpected. Sami didn't react at all. I don't think any of those are solid, but I can... No, I can't land on that door. Doesn't matter, it seems like it's safe. I should've just corpse jumped. Would've been faster. I had a corpse too. Um... Okay, where can I go now? Go... Where to go? Wait, anything? Nope. Nothing here, nothing here. Let's escape with our lives. After we find our friend John, of course. Our friend John. You know. Don't you know John? Pretty sure he was in the original missions. Yeah, John. You know? John. Is that open? No. How do I open that? I don't remember. It's nothing here to open it. I know it's openable. It's obviously a secret door. The texture is different. I just don't remember how. I'm sure I can find it at some point. Actually... Wait a minute. Isn't that... How... I am vaguely remembering like five different missions right now that involve power stations and the undead. So I'm trying to remember what is d down in that area and how to get there. And I am drawing a complete and total blank of like five different ways in five different missions and how to get to this area. Is that a blank wall? Hey! Okay. <laughs> was- was- did I walk straight up to that and just not notice? Because I'm pretty sure that was not there. I'm gonna look back at that because I was looking at the window as I was walking up and noticed it was a brick wall and got confused. And I don't know if that zombie was actually there or not because that startled me. Alright then. I'm just gonna, um go elsewhere. Nothing in here. Right? Nothing? No. A zombie on a safe? What's up with that? You know, I kind of don't want you there anyway, so please follow me by all means. I got all the loot I need, though. Come on, Mr. Zombie. No, please leave the room. Fine, stay here then. Jerk. Alright, how do we open this? By cracking the safe. Hey, there's some blood there from when I hit the zombie. We can kinda see whatever the heck that is. John, I had no idea you were a skeleton. So, this is John. Everybody meet John. John is a skeleton. Don't make fun of John. Uh, not really sure what context I'm really supposed to grab from that whole conversation. Um, dang it, he got up again. Anyway, uh, the context I got from it was that either he got eaten by the zombies and now he's a skeleton, or he starved to death because I'm not, I'm not really clear on whether or not he actually got out of there. Um, I don't know. One or the other. I can just leave now, can't I? Super spooky. Super spooky. What do I need to do still? Escape? Okay. 
I can do that. I know there's a secret way down. How do I get into that secret, though? Because I don't actually remember. Gate switch. Oh, no. Everything is attacking. I know I'm making an unreasonable amount of fun of this, but... Yes. Super spooky. This is what happens when a mission doesn't necessarily have the correct atmosphere um, for certain things. Anyway, this is the exit. So, escape. Hooray! Escape happened! I missed some loot and actually no secrets, so I'm gonna maybe try and figure out how to open that if I can, that one area, and then come back to this. Okay, so I found out opening the store just requires you to walk up to it. There is no secret lever, as I was wrongly thinking. Sure is a lot of space in here, though. Let's see. Alright, well, we can just go around picking up everything. Go on our merry way. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually. Look. Okay. I was about to say, I don't actually know how to get up there because I remember this part. And. I don't know how to get this ladder to come down because that seems to be the way to get up there, I would think. Gonna quick check for any hidden anythings because I don't, not really sure. But we can pick open this door for no reason whatsoever. I'm pretty sure we can get to the other side without having to actually pick open the door, so who knows? Maybe I wasn't supposed to kill the haunt in order to get through that part or into that one part. It's definitely some interesting architecture down here, it's just kind of empty. It's a lot of sleeping zombies and not awake zombies, so it's part of the problem. Also, it sounds like the ship's hold from uh, whichever ship that was. Hello, dead mechanist. I wonder if the, maybe this is the lever that does that. What does this lever do? So anyway, uh, might as well talk about the review a little bit while I'm here, I suppose. Seems like it would be a bit of a waste not to... Is that a scene there? Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, this did receive a... Let's see. Can't actually see that from here. Unfortunately, sometimes the reviews are a little bit too long for my screen to actually hold both the content of the review and also the number itself, so I can't see both right now. And, uh, what is it? This way I came, this is the way I came in from. Or is the other way I came in from? I don't know where I, yeah, that's, that's where I came from. This door closed behind you. Um, anyway, one of the main complaints about this game um, actually had to do with the, uh, ambient sound. Did I just walk in a circle again? Yeah, okay, I did. Had to do with the ambient sound being too loud, and, uh, I agree to that. They are a bit loud, and I have turned them down actually quite a bit, so... I'm just gonna get rid of that guy. Not too fond of them. Anyway, one of the other main complaints I was reading up on was that uh, people didn't like that there wasn't really any explanation to some of the stuff. Uh, you know, why is this place haunted, for example? I don't have a good answer for you, because I don't know. I feel like I, this should be a different place, but it is the same place, isn't it? 
man, getting all kinds of turned around. I am not good at directions. I want to find out what that lever opens. Unless it opens the elevator. It might have opened the elevator, now that I think about it. Actually, yeah. It probably did open the elevator. Okay, this is just here again. This is the opposite way. Did it do anything to here? Nope. Okay. Time for the cheat button just to see what's up here. Because I remember this area, and I don't remember there being anything, but I do remember not being able to get up here. And that can be quite frustrating. Alright. Yep, nothing, 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 nothing. Whole lot of nothing. There's no way to, like, rope arrow up here. I mean, I don't even have any rope arrows anyway, so... Just plain old not gonna work. Let's go see if the elevator's open. Hey, what do you know? It kind of opened the elevator. I think it... I thought it actually went all the way in, though, so it's kind of strange that it stopped, but... Uh, well. Alright, see, this is the elevator. This is the shortcut. Uh, there's really nothing very special about it. That's, uh, pretty much it. So, yeah. Okay, having completed it again, uh, with all that good stuff, um can actually talk about the review in full. So, this review was again by Eric de Evignon, Anarchic Fox, and uh, he gave this, roughly speaking, a 4.5 out of 10. So that's 4.5 bronze hammers, and let's go through the pros, cons, etc. first. Alright, so the pros, fairly spooky and nice new ambient noise. Uh, cons, some serious bugs, problematic construction and gameplay. Bottom line, this is worth playing if you like undead missions, otherwise it may just annoy the hell out of you. That's direct quotes, so yes. Anyway, okay, so story. Let's talk about this. I talked about it a tiny bit, but why is this place haunted? Why is our friend John here? Why is the rust gas canister here? Why, why, why at all? Why is this place abandoned? Why is it still in use but abandoned, apparently? Um, these kinds of questions are things that will break people's immersion in in the mission itself. And for me, this isn't really an immersive mission. It has the ambient noise and it gets real high up there with atmosphere. Because a lot of undead missions obviously is meant to creep you out. It's meant to be a little bit spooky. And... It could do that very well with the new ambient noise being something nobody's never, you know, nobody's encountered that specific noise before, so it's a little bit, um, even if you were a veteran player, you would be, you know, not used to that specific noise, so it would be a little bit creepier than it would otherwise be if you just had the zombies. So there's a lot you can do to immerse people in your mission without, like, having to have a good story. However, the fact that the story doesn't really go that far into it, and it's just kind of like, well, let's just hand wave all this. I, I can totally see where he's coming when he gives that a specific section uh, a four. So, talking about the atmosphere, he gave it a seven. It's pretty eerie in the ambient noise, etc. Architecture layout, he gave a three. Um... This place is fairly plain. I think I would have given it a little bit higher for the twisty passages. Um, but I do have to say the fact the doors were unaligned, or not aligned properly. Um, the patrols were a little bit not so great there. Um, the fact that there's so many zombies on the ground, like, what's what's up with that? Why, why have them on the ground? Why not have them actually be challenging and have them be standing up so that I have to take them out? Uh, that, that, to me, is a little bit of the layout and gameplay together. Um, and things do tie into each other like that, so I can see why he gave gameplay a 4. And I totally understand the 3, because at the time, uh, the po uh, the, not the texture count, the polygon count, basically, on that tree outside was tremendously gigantic. And a lot of people apparently experienced, a, you know, crashes with that when they viewed that tree. Um... Beyond that, apparently there was a creature that turned invisible and immobile after being, well, not invisible, but, um, insubstantial, unable to be hit again, and also immobile after being hit once. 
I'm not sure which one he refers to. I think, however, it might be the little girl ghost. Uh, so anyway, sometimes the major objective also wouldn't uh, be marked as completed. Someone had to create a patch to fix that. I'm not sure who. I would have to check on the forums again. So with that in mind, he also gave this an irritation penalty for the complex crashes or complexity crashes, uh, the bugs, things like that. I think I would have given it more than a 0.5 reduction in that case. Because when one of your main objectives doesn't tick off, then your, your mission isn't completable in that case. And it doesn't, it's not on the same level to me. Uh, so this did receive four bronze hammers, not 4.5 as I thought. He, that's after the irritation penalty. So anyway, uh, yeah, I can, I can agree with that score in some aspects. I think maybe somewhere between a 3.5 and a 4.5 is pretty reasonable, and that's where he hits. Um, this is one of those missions that doesn't, it's got some things it does good, but it's got some things that obviously don't work very well. Um, but it's a pretty quick, easy mission all around. So, anyway, this has been Silent Nightmares. I'm Nexus, and I will see you guys next time.